Hey guys, what's going on? I just wanted to take this quick little opportunity I have, this little peace and quiet that I've got. I was thinking about doing it later tonight, but there's um, really not much lighting at night down here. But I just wanted to take the opportunity to show you guys what I uh, just kind of built this past weekend. I uh, put together a um, workbench as well as gun wall. I uh, just went to Home Depot, picked up a couple of things. I spent less than $40 and uh, built myself a whole setup. So I've got my, you know, workbench, my table. Currently working on my uh, VFC uh, Mark 12. Um, I was going to upgrade the spring and the cylinder, as well as do kind of a, a silent piston head modification. So I'll probably be finishing that up later tonight. Might show you guys the results afterwards. I might show you a tutorial. Uh, depends on whether or not I can actually, um, you know, have the get the camera mounted properly. Um, I'm planning on introducing that soon, or just you know, building a mount for it. Um, speaking of mounts, I do actually have a mount for my phone that I sit right here and put Netflix on. I watch Netflix or YouTube tutorials if I need to or whatever. Um, over here I've got just a really simple uh, husky um, just case, basically where I can store different parts and stuff. So I've got some batteries, got some springs, uh, I've got gears and other components in there, scrap wires, um, cylinder heads, nozzles, uh, spring guides, motors, stuff like that. I'm um, going to be building a drawer to go right here to keep tools in and things like that, so that way I can put you know, like parts that I've taken off the gun to access inner components, I can set them all here instead of having tools here, I can have my tools in a drawer. That's going to be real simple, just need uh, some more 2x4 and uh, drawer slides and then plywood. That's, I mean, that's really about it. A um, couple, of, couple of stickers. I do plan on um, building another shelf right here. No no wall, but just another shelf to put attachments and magazines for my guns, um, as well as improve the lighting. I just threw this lamp right here real quick. I do have a desk lamp that actually, you know, points, and so I'm going to be using that, especially if I'm going to be taking videos. I want to be able to clearly show you guys how to do do what. But let me take a little step back, and here's the actual wall. So just uh, two pieces of pegboard, two by four uh, pegboard and just you know the pegs for them so i've got all my different guns i've got my tokyo marui 870 uh set up gonna be doing some mods to that chop the barrel down um probably play around with the internals just a little bit and you know get a feel for it kdb atp gonna be doing some modifications to that as well elite force ak-47 um it's i've stripped two pistons in that thing uh so it's now firing uh, two round bursts instead of semi only and one of the places I play at is semi only for most of the games So if I want to use it, I can't um, Do have my KWA Masada the GBBR Masada Chris Vector MP7 LM4 that I've now changed back to its sort of more police-esque setting um, my VFC or Echo 1 Platinum Mark 12 build it goes right there, but currently it's just the upper receiver as I'm working on the rest of it. Uh, and then a Classic Army Mark 22 that I uh, just finished um, building on. So that that's, I mean, that's about it. It was incredibly easy to build. Just a sheet of plywood and got that cut. Could have done it myself, but they do it for free, so I mean, why the hell not? And acted as use the scrap piece as a buffer between the table because I didn't want the pegboard to go all the way down because then guns would sit, you know, in this little section here. Um, got the pegboard and just drilled straight into the studs of the framework because I'm inside an unfinished closet. And then drilled um, two by four coming in at an angle, so coming up underneath of this, coming up at an angle, and then just drilled straight down. So that's you know, coming at an angle and then drilled to the side of the studs on one, two, and three. And then right here in the middle, you can see you just have an L bracket. I'm gonna be adding some more. Uh, I only had one, so, oh well. But yeah, that, I mean, that's, 
that's really it and I'm excited because now I have a place to put everything I also have a great workspace because originally I was using you know little stools and I put a little bit of tape uh, put a uh, towel over it and I you know would lose things and I have to find them in you know thick carpet but I also am excited because I can now build a mounting system for my camera and record some uh, tech videos which I would really like to do just give me another something something else to do in my free time so that is about it guys I uh, hope you enjoyed um, hope it inspires you to do the same because originally I had just been putting you know, my guns in their cases and stuffed them in the corner underneath the bed or whatever and now I have somewhere where I can you know kind of show them off display them and you know pick guns that I want to use for the day and that kind of stuff and reconfigure them and you know tinker on them because I love to just tinker and build and take apart clean and rebuild watch some TV it's just kind of, it's kind of therapeutic it's like almost building with Legos but cooler so hope you guys enjoyed this one was a quick video and I'll see you next time